Brian dropping shit everywhere. Jeez. Now, I've dropped a few of them up here. <laughs> Got coming out of the end of the driveway. Got to pick them up and get back to work. Now, I finally got the countertop completely off. So what I need to do now is go back and clean up my mess that I've made and cut off a bunch of staples that are sticking out. And then uh, I can start getting my other countertop ready to cut holes in so I can, what I'll do, I'll drill four holes in the, in the corners where my sink is going to go in and I'll get a jigsaw in there. Okay, I got my new counter top out here. Stretched out across the deck railings. And this is my total length of my old one over there. 78 and a quarter. So I'm going to cut that off very carefully and very slowly with a jigsaw. And I'm cutting the end that goes towards, that goes up against the wall. And a, uh, a trim piece is going to go on here so it'll hide any imperfections or any chipping. What I've done is I went ahead and marked my line that I need to cut off. Oh shit, what did I do? Did the wrong side of it. Uh, I think I just need to remeasure. Anyway, measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I scored it, went ahead and scored it with a razor knife all the way along the side of that. And I did use a square. So let me just double check my measurements to make sure that I'm cutting the right side of that tape. Because if you cut it on the wrong side of that tape, that's a very large screw up. Okay, got it. I'm gonna scrub, I'm gonna cut it on the right side of the tape, and I don't think y'all be going. I don't think y'all are gonna watch this because I ain't trying to use the camera and the jigsaw at the same time. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got that end cut off. Now I'm gonna start masking off where my hole is gonna go. I doubt y'all can see that. Let me try to get that GoPro up there. I'm learning how to use the damn GoPro, folks. Okay. Now, as y'all noticed, there's no blue cup in this video. I'm out here drinking using power tools. So you ain't gotta, you know, you ain't gotta call the power tool police on me. Okay. What did we say? Our, that's the total length of our countertop. And that really looks small to me. Oh boy, hopefully I didn't just screw up a countertop. It's supposed to be 78 and a quarter. And we're 78 and a quarter. Let me go read, let me go double check. This, this other one looks longer than that. We're 78 and a quarter. Oops. Can't work without the tape measure. Oh. Okay. So, my hole is going to be 30 and from the wall. All right, 30 and a quarter from the wall is gonna be right here. Let's go ahead and 30 and one quarter from the wall. Okay, now let's move our square and double check that. 31 quarter. Gotcha. 31 quarter. Gotcha. All right. Our next hole, our next line will be 18 and a quarter from this side. Let's 
18 and one quarter. From that side. Quarters right there. Right there. Eighteen and a quarter. Double check. Oh, on the inside. I screwed that up. I want my, I want my shit to be on the outside. I ain't gonna do that. Okay, I don't have one mark on the inside on one side and one mark on the outside. You get mixed up like that in a heartbeat. I'm always gonna be cutting the outsides of these lines. So, the out, I'm cutting the outside of the hole. I mean, yeah, what? Yeah, you know what I mean. I hope y'all know what I mean. Anyway, 18 and one quarter will be on this side. Did I say 18 and a quarter? Show sure enough said 18 and a quarter. Now you put 18 and a quarter on this side. So the tape is going to be, I'm on the wrong side, ain't I? Damn, I sure am. How am I going to get the tape on that side? When the, I can't get the tape on that side. When the damn okay, so this is what I gotta do, folks. Gotta put this side of the tape measure on 18 and a quarter. There we go. Now we're talking like white bread does. White bread doesn't really talk, but it tastes good. Yeah. Now, now we cut the outside of that. 18 and a quarter. Y'all see about I about to screw up. 18 and a quarter. 18 and a quarter. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna mark my. The other directions, I'm gonna mark my uh, my horizontal, whatever you call it. closer than I want to to that we're getting a lot closer than I want to to that I don't want to get that close to that that's going to put me very close to the edge right there so folks I think I'm gonna back up regroup and go different I'm gonna do this differently we're going to say that gives me hell of a hole in it. That gives me, let's see. That gives me three inches before I get to that lip. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that because we need more room in the back for the uh, for all the shit that's got to go in there. So let me measure what I got in the back on this one between the wall. There's three and a half inches there. So, yep, I got plenty. Awesome. Okay, what I do now, folks, check this out. I'm gonna get a drill. I'm gonna set this hole drill. This hole. This is called a hole saw. I'll show it to you real close in a minute. What you do with this thing is you set it up with a one quarter inch drill bit right down the center. <clears throat> like I am doing right now with a Allen wrench. The Allen wrench will hold this. The Allen wrench, Allen wrench will hold the drill bit inside the middle of this saw. And that drill bit will guide, make a, a center guide 
That'll be a guide. So my hole is center. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show it to you up close. This is my hole saw that I'm going to use on all four corners so I can get my uh, I can get my uh, jigsaw started easily. All right, folks. There's my old one. My hole and my new one has to be exactly in the same spot as that is relative to the plumbing okay so i'm not gonna have to change any plumbing this is what i got that's where my hole is gonna be and i've put my tape down and i marked on the green on the green line is the side of the tape i cut on now with my hole saw this is how the hole saw works you put your hole saw right near the corner where you need your hole not right there at it but you know kind of close and you start drilling Oop. like that sometimes you want to come up to let it clean itself it's supposed to clean itself through these holes but it doesn't always work that good Uh-oh. That's why I ain't going no further because my drill came out. Okay, when that happens, folks, you got to uh, regroup. All right, I just took my drill out. I'm just going to go straight in with the uh, hole saw now since I've already got a hole started. No big deal. All right. There we go, that's one hole. That will get me started on that line and this line. And I can do this on the other corners to uh, get that jigsaw going. So first I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to fix my, uh, I'm gonna have to fix my hole saw because my drill came out. How they say it in Canada? Bob's your uncle. Ain't got a clue who Bob is. My uncle's name ain't Bob. I'm getting battery. My battery's getting low. I'm gonna cut these other two holes without y'all, folks, and we'll be back. Okay, folks, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get this started. I got four corners. I probably didn't have to do but two. Anyway, I'm gonna get it started just like this. By, uh... See, I'll show you. you recording? Yep. I got that started. Now I'll turn my drill, my saw around and come back to my corner right there where, uh, where that meets. Okay, now see what I just did? I got a straight line to that corner. Now I'll do the same thing here so I can get a straight line. That way I don't overcut anything. Nothing will be overcut. I'll have good clean cuts. And uh, I'll show you when I'm done. All righty folks, I got my center of my hole cut out right there. 
And before I go any further, oh, I forgot, I didn't cut that spot. GoPro, stop recording. Just let it go anyway, whatever. Okay, didn't take no time at all. So I got a good square hole. Before I go any further, I want to check to see, make sure my sink falls in the hole. Make sure it fits. Of course it's gonna fit because I do everything correctly. Folks, it don't fit. It don't fit. What's wrong? Do you know? You gotta set the front end first. Nope. So for some reason it ain't fitting. Take a look and see why. Take a look and see why. These tabs on the front are hidden. So, looks like I might be off just a little bit. All right, folks, I see where it's bumping. I'm just gonna take the saw back out there and trim it out just a little bit. It looks like I got about a quarter of an inch and it'll go on. All right, folks, I trimmed that off. Let's see what happens. See what we got to do now. <laughs> Something's still stopping it. There's a trick to this, I tell you. The way it came out, it's not the way it goes back in. It's definitely got to come in at a certain angle. Just like, you know. <laughs> Alright, this is my first time ever doing this, if you can't tell. <laughs> 